welcome back to the Lord Studio. We're going to get this base done finally on the Saracens. I was going to do it yesterday, but I just was exhausted. My day's off, and I still didn't really get much rest, but I think I'm good now. I slept all morning. A little better than I've been. I'm getting old. I'm almost 50 years old, and I'm feeling it every day. Anyway, let's keep going on this. I crumbled off a few of the white rocks that were on here because they stuck out a little too much. So I left a few on there, but it looks a lot, a lot better now, even. It looked pretty good before, but I think it looks better now. Let's just keep going on this. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. Maybe. Uh, how's that going to do? I think that'll be good as long as I don't move it too much. All right, let's start by, I want to put one there, one there. Okay, I'm just gonna take our time this time. I'm not gonna rush to do this. I was rushing through it because I wanted to make video, fast video, I can just edit it. I've learned how to edit it a little better, so it takes more time, but Take my time and get it done right. Man, that glue is screwy. Okay, so we'll start off putting these. I'm going to put these big tufts. Only I put like two of them, one of each on there. Just give something big and bushy. So we'll take one of these greenish yellow ones. Some glue on that. I'm going to put him right about next to that rock. Alright, that's that. That's that one. Now I got a darker, kind of more brownish green. This rock right here. That's about as much as I've planned out of this. That's planned where to put the big stuff. The rest is just going to be off the cuff, whatever you want to call it. Free roll. That looks pretty good though. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't want too many of those big ones, I wouldn't think. I mean, it's, everybody sees things differently, so. I don't want too many of the big ones. We're going to go with these littler ones here. Just kind of place them around wherever it strikes my fancy at the moment. No real plan. Kind of here and there in little holes. I don't want too much in the desert because deserts are kind of spotty with plant life. Kind of like spaced out. One more, I think. I don't know, right where I want it. Right in there. back and press everything down once in a while. As I always say it looks way better if you can get it pressed in there. None of the edges showing of the tufts. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. That's livable. And I have one more kind here. I'm only going to put Maybe one, two. So I already got some big ones. These are like medium size. Uh, put one of them up here in the corner. And let's see. One back here. Smallest one I can find. And I'm back and by this rock here. It's 
snuggling towards the rocks. All right. Now we'll go with the little bushes. Where did I put my rubber? Mm, don't need my rubber. I do need my paintbrush. Okay, let's just start putting. Ooh, a little bit crusty. I so washed it out very good last time. Just kind of go around these rocks with these, and that's all I'm going to do with them. I'm not going to go crazy here. I'm going to have some self control. Light brown one now. Nice little cluster of bushes here. I like that. Something over here. Mm. Got some greenery though. Some of this darker brownish, tan type, whatever. Right there. And there's a lonely little rock over here. We're going to give him some. What the hell was that? Okay. Throwing glue. Give this lonely little rock some bush to hang out with. A little orange tucked in there, a little green. A little brown, ugly mother. It's a big chunk. If I had these kind of torn apart, I think they're just sticking. That right there is good. Push them in there a little bit. Glue on top of them and try to get something sitting up higher. Good, 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 good. I like that. Okay, another rock needs friends. Turn this and shove it right on there. Looks like it needs to go right there. Oh, yes. That's nice. That's real good. Right there. Nice little cluster of mess there. Yeah. That's good. Okay. More back up under this bush. Another orange one. My glue is drying up. What the heck is going on here? It's hot in here, but not that hot. My glue is like instantly drying. Water in here. Let's get fired up again. Green. A little bit of orange to spice that up a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we need too much more. I mean, this is looking pretty good, I think. I'm trying not to go overboard this time. I mean, I could really go overboard with this. <laughs> There's plenty of room there to go overboard with. But it's not necessary on this one because deserts, you look at deserts, usually they're pretty sparse. I mean, that's probably more than a desert would have, really, already. Depending on what desert it is, I suppose, they're not all the same. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. I don't think I'm going to go with any more than that. Put our little stone down. Got a nugget right here if I don't drop it. Flip that 
over. There we go. Gotta put our little finished nugget on there. Says we're done. Oh my god, dude. Just kind of place that right in there. Maybe. We'll find somewhere that'll fall in. Oh my god, dude. This is the most uncooperative nugget I've ever had. Dude, lay down. Oh my gosh. That's not good either. Move you around until I'm satisfied. You are in a good spot. By then I won't have enough goddamn glue. I already lost all the glue on it. Try this again. Oh my god, it's like really thin and like narrow. I can't get a hold of the damn thing. Uh, where is somewhere where I'll lay down? Right there. Oh my god, it immediately flipped over. <laughs> uh, you are a pain, bud. There we go. Now if I don't knock it out of that hole, it'll be good. I like that. I go repaint it. So it kind of shines more eventually. The glue should dry though. I think it'll probably mat it out a little bit. I want it to be a shiny nugget. All right, there we go. That's that. Hopefully it looks good on there. Looks good to me here. Didn't go overboard. Just got to kind of get everything pressed down real good. Like always. But yeah, I didn't want to go too overboard. I think I did pretty good at self-control today on this. Find something I can set it on. So I tilt it a little bit. There we go, a little bit of tilt. I'm back out here. All right. That's everything. Well, I do have one more thing I gotta do. I think about it. I've got this Vallejo uh, weathering powder. I'll put some of it down. Before glue dries, I'll just dump it on with my hands. That worked pretty good last time. Just kind of dump it everywhere, and then wherever it sticks is where it sticks. Dump it on, rub it in. Mostly on the bushes. I want it to be in the bushes. Kind of weather them up a little bit.
moving all those big chunks. So we'll press it in and swish it around here. Adds a little bit of, takes out some of the color, makes it a little more dusty, sandy. and deserty. Alright, a little bit of leftover here. I always make sure I got more than enough, that way, just in case. I can slather it on there when I need it. Uh, got this to do on a new video. We got a ton of paint here, brand new, just came today. How many is in there? One, two, three, six, seven. They're not all from the same place. I just stuff them all in one bag. Also, I've got this little toy to play with. Mr. Pin glue gun. Should be fun. Should be useful at some point. Uh, I didn't put any of these on yet either. Hmm. Do I really want to mess with that? I think I'll put some of these dark ones on. Okay, let's go back and do this. Like I said, I'm in no rush to whip it all out in 10 seconds here. I can edit together whatever I need to for the quick video. Speed short. I'm going to put these little cuffs on. I don't have much left in this one. Luckily, I got a brand new one. Plus, I got a whole bunch of these coming in the mail sometime. It's kind of like a pre order thing I did, so they're kind of in limbo at the moment until they. For some reason, they're not shipping them. They don't have them yet or something. They're waiting on the shipment to come in. Once they do, I'll have a ton of these things. I got some new colors. Yeah, I think this could use a little bit of darkness here and there. These add a lot. These are my favorite ones because they stick out so good, especially in the desert scene. Look how nice that is. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. That's a little too much, I think. Tilted as I can do it. Place one here. See how nice that looks? I don't know if you can tell, but adds a little bit of a dark tint to it on the ground, which it doesn't have a whole lot of at the moment. I like putting them directly on top of them. Get the littlest one you can put it right on top of a rock. Boom, yeah, that looks cool. I like that effect. Little rock cleaners. Gotta have rock cleaners. There's another rock cleaner. We'll do a rock cleaner up front here, too. Right on top of that dude. There we go. Rock cleaner. Uh, we'll do another rock cleaner. I like rock cleaners. That's my deal. One this little guy. Oh shit, this thing glued down. Um <laughs> oh, we're moving down. I don't know how it is still sitting there this whole time without being glued down. I 
It is now. You are a permanent resident, buddy. Okay. Get that washed out real good. I think I'll put one more there. A big empty spot. Maybe one back in the corner and that'll be good enough. We'll call it a day. I totally forgot about these sitting over there. Mind is not where it usually is. Been a weird day already. They tried to give me a they gave me a notice for another inspection for all these apartments for like Monday. <laughs> so I hear my brain just goes again, like and then like an hour later I get an email saying, Oh, cancelled. It's like, oh my god, dude. You guys are killing me. Taking away my thunder. It can make cray cray. Zay zay. All right, there we go. Now we're good. That's the final touch. No more. We're getting overboard. Already getting there. Starting to get a little overboard. It was probably better before, but I have to have the dark ones on there. They're my favorite. Okay, we got weathering powder. We got everything dialed in just how we want it. Yep. I just need to go off camera. Uh press everything down a little more and then once it's dry I'll take pictures get the videos up we'll be on to something that we're going to do the Indians next yeah the next focus will be the Indians they have so many straps going around their chest and upper body it's going to be interesting to paint that I mean I've done it before but god they got like this guy has straps going in every direction I don't know if you can see that or not, but he's got like... <laughs> yeah, same with that guy. They both have just tons of straps going around their body. So it's going to be a lot of little detailed stuff on those guys. I guess. It's going to be tough. But I can do it. I've already done it once. After that, we'll probably be this... Continue on this guy, or at the same time, just back and forth. Paratrooper Soviet Airborne. And then we got our uh, U.S. Infantry our Plastic Soldier Company dudes. Down here I got that crew of uh, bolt-action warlord dudes that I built. There's the Japanese one. All these guys. Sitting over here waiting for their turn. Kind of off, off screen there. Oh shit. Okay. Kind of a mess going here, like usual. Yeah, I think that's everybody that's on the table. Oh, we got a little Grogu I gotta do over here someday. This guy's been sitting over here for a decade. <laughs> It'd probably take like two seconds of pain. I just can't get myself to do it for some reason. I got a Baroness from G.I. Joe in here. It's uh, 3D printed. I don't know if you can see her, but that'll be a good one to do. I forgot all about it, too. I mean, I got so many miniatures. I don't even know what I have anymore. This was just tucked in over here. I was like, what's that? Oh, oh yeah. Forgot about that. How many others have I forgotten about? I'm sure there's a freaking ton. That's good, though. That's good. Something to look forward to. I can just relax with all this stupid stop doing house and apartment inspections. It'd be nice. Let's get back to business. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers for showing up. You guys are awesome. Old subscribers have been around for a while. You guys rule too. Keep me motivated. Otherwise, I'd, if I didn't get any subscribers, I'd probably quit by now. Because, I mean, there are times when I don't get any views at all. It's like YouTube just throws my videos in the darkest corner of the internet and they never get seen. And I wonder if I should re-upload them. I have done that a few times, but re-uploaded it and they started playing, so, or being viewed. So, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to be 
doing those Indians real soon. I'll get these videos up. The Saracen finished this project off finally. It worked out pretty good. I mean, that's a gigantic base that I made myself out of cardboard and uh, uh, Mod Podge and paint. Basically, is all in there. Some masking tape that's in there wrapped around the edges so it doesn't get anything up in there. And then it should be fine. I mean, oh, shit. I forgot I had loose shit on there, but. Yeah, I think it'll be cool. I can make my own bases. I can make gigantic ones for like an elephant scene. I got a bunch of elephants still that I got to paint up like I did before. I don't know. You've probably seen the one I have in a few pictures, which is freaking awesome. Anyway, I'll see you next time on the next video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Please like the video if you can. It'd be awesome. It's all free. It's all easy. Just one click of a button helped me a lot. Oh, shit. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.